I'm gonna say uh, hi to the vlog that I'm making. Hello vlog. You say for me say hi? Yeah, say hi to the vlog that I'm making. Hello vlog that he's making. My name is Josh. Okay, uh, it's kind of yellow. Okay, here we go. Here we go, okay. Look at what? <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm talking to myself. Huh? <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Oh good. <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to make the bed frame with my mom. Here's, here's the before. All right, so it's gonna go hopefully right about there. I'm guessing, it might, it might change it later, but this is before. And after, I finally finished the bed. It only took two hours and now I think it looks good. Uh, I don't have a tripod yet, so I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna do the explanation part later if I actually get the podcast table here. I am gonna go try to get my podcast table from Usha's apartment. Since it has to happen soon, um, I'm gonna do just try and go do it. They might kill me, but. But we're gonna find out. Oh, look at the sunset. Man, that sunset's pretty. So, I'm gonna tell you about this part, just because I don't even know if I'm gonna vlog it or film it or anything, but um, so basically, what's about to happen is, I'm going to, where's my measuring tape? I'm gonna take my measuring tape. The reason I need it is because I'm gonna first measure the table and make sure it's not longer than my car trunk thing. My trunk, I don't know, because I haven't measured it. It's like, I don't know, six something feet? So this is my new apartment. It's obviously got like a little record player area. This is the couch, the ottoman, and there's like a little like table thing right here. Am I on manual mode? There's a table. The projector is from King, King Marvino, it's very convenient. And then the little balcony there. There you go, now you can see the balcony. Okay, so the podcast, podcast hopefully, potentially, if all goes as planned, I'm gonna move this carpet thing right here. And then this is gonna be like a podcast area. Yeah? Okay. Right. Here we go. And with this. Oh, look, it's so pretty. You can barely see it though. Even if I do it all the way. Oh. <sighs> okay. I think I'm prepared. Whoa, why is it so dark? Okay, there have been two updates. Update, whoa, update number, up, up, update number one is <laughs> the sun is popping right now. You can't even see it. That's not the update. Update one is that Philip is now available to come help. Um, uh, yeah, I get that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Usha's to get my table out of the apartment outside. That's step one. Step two is to get into Philip's car. If I can do that, then we're gonna come here and then get the table out of the car into the elevator, into my apartment. I don't, I don't, I don't, I gotta stop wasting my energy, okay. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna be possible. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna happen. I. It's not gonna work. I don't think. The table is actually in my car, which I did not expect. But I am positive. I am telling myself it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. I just have to get in the car right now and get to Usha's. Get the table out of the apartment, out to the front of the building. Then I can worry about the rest there. Uh. I'll see you at. The place I just mentioned, the outside of the building that I just mentioned. Okay, so the table is actually in my car, which I did not expect. 
So I'm no, no, nowhere, nowhere. I'm nowhere near as tired as I thought I would be. Fortunately, Philip's on his way. Thank you, Usha, for the help. Hello. Do you want to do push-ups? <laughs> what? Push-ups? No. Yeah, that was like the thing. How many did I do? I think like 10. 10. Yeah. 8, 9, 10. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hey, man. Appreciate you. I like that camera, man. Thank you. Know, you you thank always you. put that photographer. <laughs> you know? All right, good news and bad news. Actually, there isn't any bad news. Good news is I have the podcast table in. It's all here. Um, the last time I spoke to you, I was outside my car, I think. Um, and now all the work that I was talking about is all done. So that's wonderful. It's not ready to show anybody, but Ready for the vlog at least. Um, I have a few things for my car, I think I'll get it. So I'm gonna go do those now. Oh, it's all foggy now. There we go, that's a little bit, oh, that's kind of still gross. Oh, you watch this, ready? <laughs> the best thing about coming home at 8 p.m., well, it's actually 7.30, but the best thing about coming home at 7.30 is the fact that the sun goes down at around eight. You see it like perfectly, well, not quite. In about 30 minutes, it's gonna look amazing. One of these days soon, you're gonna see this podcast right here. I don't know when. No promises, I don't know when. Ooh, I can do some cool, like, sunset videos. Yeah, look at this. Whew. That's hot. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. All right, this is what I this is what I stayed for. Now, now it's really worth watching. You can even see my shadow back there. My apartment is actually really dope during during the sunset. All right, I'm gonna show you now. Look at that. It's through a window, so you get like, ugh. yeah. See, not a great. This is the best way to view it. There's Tyson's below us. Ugh. I don't know who know how many of you understand where this is but that's the Spring Hill Metro right there it's pretty cool from my balcony dude it's like it's been like a, a long time since I've Film a video, but look at this freaking sunset. This is basically gonna turn into a YouTube channel for sunsets at my apartment. Look at that, it's so freaking cool. I'm gonna go outside and show you. Look at this freaking holy mother of pearl. Wow. Oh my heck. Oh my heck. Wow. Uh, my YouTube channel is basically just gonna be sunsets from my balcony. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like put like a tri tripod here and be like, check out this new tr sunset on my balcony. Goodness gracious. On today's episode of Look at This Sunset, check out. It's like raining. My hair is awful. It's like raining in the, in the distance. Oh, you can bear the city. I don't know uh, where I'm at with this video, but <clears throat> my podcast table is officially ready for content. Fortunately, I have this, oh, I was gonna say, this, this account is gonna slowly turn into a, a sunset channel. Sunset? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I, I love the sunset and I have a really good view here. But fortunately, I think, oh, this is like almost perfect. Some of the stuff. Uh, <clears throat> like, 
We're gonna come to this later on when I have time. <laughs> All right, Josh. It's four in the morning. I told you, <laughs> I told you I'd be awake, awake at 10. <laughs> Let's see if it's possible. I doubt it. If you're watching this video, it's because I woke up at 10, at nine, maybe nine. Fortunately, Josh gave me an hour, another hour. I'm so tired. Fortunately, Josh is not Fortunately, fortunately, God, <laughs> fortunately, Josh, he got here at 12. I'm so tired. Here we go, here he is. Hey! Hello. What's up, fool? What is this? Recording or somebody? <laughs> what? Hi. I didn't know if we were on the call or if we were recording. <laughs> First one. Babe. No. Up, not one. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> Happy Labor Day! Happy Labor Day! <laughs> Fortunately, when I woke up to see my phone, Josh was like, yo, I need some time. So, now, he's arrived. Hi. Hi. How was your ride? It was long. It was long. It was well, it's only like three hours. Yeah, well, it was supposed to be. <laughs> it was supposed it, to be. It turned into closer to the four. Oh, uh, okay. So the drive that was longer when you told me the end time. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. What is it you did? How did it do? Huh? Anything interesting? No, nothing interesting. Oh. Whole lot of cops. Oh. Whole lot of cops. That's, That's rough. The exciting part. Hell yeah. All right. I don't know what we're doing yet, but I need a shower. So we're going to do that first. All right. Are you trying to not, like... I don't want to get hit. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> You're not going to get hit. But well, you should do it off the balcony. Okay. Yeah, do it off the balcony. Do it off the balcony. Because... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why would you... Why? Why? I didn't mean to. What do you mean? Do you this want to film? I can. I mean, I'm talking to somebody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just use that. I'll do, I'll do a tripod. Yeah, I was just saying, put on the tripod. This is, looks a little blue. There we go. You want me to like, go out there, go out there? You can, but you don't have to. This is yeah. just like in general. Kind of helpful. This is Colin. <laughs> he doesn't like cameras. Wait, I'm gonna have to be right about that. Never mind. Yep, that's why I got these Whoa. utility scissors. Yeah. Oh, it's everywhere. Ooh, what if? Oh my god. We need a, a, an inch over here. There we go. Nice. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That, that was the turf ex experiment. Featuring Josh. And my feet. And your feet. All right, cool. So now we're, I think we're going on a top golf now. I'm pretty sure we're good to go. All right, this is my, oh, f metronome. Okay. All right, and now. Should I also clap? No, 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 just me. Okay. <laughs> oh, there is one more leg. They're probably where your scissors were. They're fancy lighting, okay? Yeah, I, um, I have to improve my lighting soon. Um, gotta get it like closer to your mouth, probably. It's a microphone, it's not fragile. Like this? Sure, but like, pretend like you want to be on the podcast. Oh, wow. 
pretend. Like if you were, if you were okay. invited, like hi, hello. That's a little better. Is this good? It's a little better. You want me to have it cover my whole face? Preferably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. It's like if you're if you're invited to a podcast and you're excited to it, you get there. You know what I mean? Usually yeah. people aren't like, hi. Well, you you can still hear me from there. Elon Musk was kind of weird about it. He was like, you want me to talk to the microphone? Like, Are you comparing yeah. me to Elon Musk? No. Seems like it. There's no comparison. Comparison. You can't compare innocent any anyone to Elon Musk. You're right. So how's the drive? Oh, it was it was it was long. It took me long about hard. four hours. Nope, not not hard. You said it was hard. No, I said it was long. But earlier today you said it was hard. No, I didn't say it was hard. Okay. I said it was, <laughs> it was long. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to be three hours, but it took me four. Four. Okay. So just l- long. Just Got long. It. Okay, true. With dumb traffic. Dumb traffic. It was not educated at all. Yeah, all of them dropped out in third grade. True. Well, this makes me sound differently. Now this makes you sound differently. Try that. I'm trying it. Oh, I'm very... I don't even know how to describe that. Deep. Now you're in the... Yeah. Now you're in the back there, in the back now, of the bar. Now I'm in the back of the bar. Yeah. Now I'm in the f- in the radio. Normally people don't f- with their audio settings because like it's not it's not really uh that fun. But see, I would confused. look at that board and not know a single thing that's going on. Correct. I do. I just I'm mad that my effects aren't working. Have you tried making them work? Sometimes yeah. that helps. I want to say uh, hi to the vlog that I'm making. Hello, vlog. You say for me, say hi? Yeah, say hi to the vlog that I'm making. Hello, vlog that he's making. My name is Josh. I live far away. In oh, you know what? I want to what? test this. You keep saying. Okay, hi. I live far away. Sometimes I drive places for no reason. Kind of like today. I drove four hours to come sit in an apartment. And then I'm going to go home later. Someday, someone's going to be like, I want to be on the audio but not the <coughs> video. So this is my way of including them. Let's see. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. You can't hear us as well. Like the he- I need headphones over there, but how was your drive? It was kind of annoying because drivers in the DMV area are stupid. True. So I saw a guy in his truck having like that thing to like churn butter, like just like a giant butter churn in the back what? of his truck. Is it Amish, probably? I have no clue. That's weird. Yeah. Did he have a mustache? No. So I didn't... He wasn't a hamster. <laughs> he he wasn't a hamster. Like hipster. hipster. Got it, got it, okay. He looked Close like enough. a normal guy. Yes, hamsters churn butter. Hamsters oh, do, in fact, churn butter. My hermit crab churns my butter. Oh, wow. That sounded... That sounded interesting. I'm sure it did. It is quite interesting. Um, okay, so I wonder if I should call Top Golf to find out. If it's probably not that uh, busy. Yeah. We can find out. Correct. We can. In fact, we will. Reserve one bay. Oh, walk in. Might be better to reserve. I am so bad at it. I've gone like maybe like once. That's how you get better. I've never been. Really? Really. Have you? Done golf before though? Only but done, but. done golf. <laughs> done golf. Have you ever done golf before? Played golf. <laughs> <laughs> done golf, played golf. I would have said done golf. Have you done, gr- really? have, you, have you done driving before? No. No. Have you done swimming before? Never. True. Okay, well, hello podcast. This is my first attempt at showing you that I'm back. Uh, although this one's a, now it's kind of. Smart. Now, okay. now you're not in this, yeah. in my shot. Very. And you're still visible. That's All right, Josh, tell them who you are and tell them why I, you're... I already said I know. Tell them what's up. Tell them what's up. Yeah. Tell them what's up. <laughs> tell them what's up, Josh. Hello, people. We're going to be going... Can they see the screen? No, they can't. We're going to Top Golf. In they can now, kind of. They can now, kind but, of. But, like, it's not going to matter. No one's going to look at that. It right. makes more sense to you just tell them. I might, okay. I might, maybe I'll vlog it. Who knows? Well, the plan is to go to Top Golf in Correct. the next couple hours couple hours I'd pretty look, soon I don't well yeah well, I'm saying by the time we get there and we're in for them it'll be like right immediately what's going on tell them what's up well, what's up is you don't have uh, park in your lines oh yeah tell them what's up we're in Top Golf 
Good job. Thanks. You did a good job. I'm learning. Kind of. <laughs> you excited for your first time at Top Golf? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Top Golf. Hello. We're not on that bay yet. Welcome, 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 welcome. You ready? No. I mean, sure. You didn't listen or watch. Nope. I was on my phone. You did you not watch? I did it four times. I was on my phone. <laughs> Taylor, stop. What do you mean stop? Stop. Stop what? What? Being a pain. Stop. A pain? There you go. Hey, are you having fun even though I'm a pain? It's getting a little better. It's getting a little better? A little better. I'm not doing anything abnormal. You just don't like the playing golf. No. I, I enjoy it. You do, just not with me. Not the way it started. I was trying to help you. My sister. I have my own things going on. Okay. So I have to be on my phone, so I wasn't paying attention. You look like yeah. you're—you look like you're being tortured. No, I just have stuff going. On. Yeah. Boop. Three points. Yeah. How was your first time golfing? It was good. It was good. I only sucked minuscule. You, you sucked? About this much. Oh, I didn't see any of that. Okay, this much. No, I didn't see any of the sucking at all. No, it definitely sucked. 100%. Oh. Well, who, who are you sucking? Myself. <laughs> next. You ready? Yes. Next. All right. You ready? Yes. Next. I don't know what's next. Correct. Tell them what's up. I think we're doing wings. <laughs> Is that definite yet? Yeah, we're going there, yeah. Okay, we're going to go get wings. Yeah, good job. I don't know where. Correct. You didn't tell me where. Correct. Let's go do it. Okay. Let's go do the thing you have no idea about. That tends to be a common theme. Yeah. But you also don't talk to me, so you got to communicate with yeah. me and then I'll communicate with you. Yeah? Yeah. Did you leave your car on the whole time? Oh, sh what do you mean? Why? Your tail lights are on. No. No way, dude. Uh you think so? Do you think so? But, well, I mean, why else would your tail lights be on? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Let me guess. Tell him what's up. Tell him what's up. <laughs> uh, we went to wing night at whatever the place was called. I don't know the name of the place. Correct. Atomic, I think. Atomic wings? No, or Buffalo the wing, wing, wing factory. Buffalo wi yeah, the wing that factory. thing. Yeah, the wing factory. But we didn't get any wings. You got a salad. Yeah. Salad was good. The salad is amazing. Why didn't you get any wings? We didn't get any video because they well, were... Yeah, we didn't get any video because the people didn't want to be on camera. Right. Now we're going to the apartment. Cut five. Yeah, there we go. We well, walked two feet. Now <laughs> we'll do it again. <laughs> okay. Alright, just in case, just in case I forget later. Thank you, sir. Enjoyed Labor Day with you. You're welcome. Thank Here you. We. Good times. Good time. It's a, a time sad. Time had. had, had good time ha, has. Had time. Has good time. Had, good, had good. bad time for a moment, but then good <laughs> Welcome to this episode. Yes. Welcome to today's episode of Sunsets from My Balcony. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Sick. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome to the T-Cast. I gotta introduce you guys. My, my guests here are Jean Ann, the 2020 Miss DC America, and right. Deborah Oval, the producer of the Singles in the City show. Yes. City in the yes. City of DC. Yes. And obviously, as you know, Jean Ann is the executive producer. executive producer and the host. Yes, all correct. right. Yay. You got it. All right, all cool. Here, and great. Great. <laughs> here we go. My job is all done. <laughs> I want to help other people find love. We are doing a production that is wholesome, but it also appeals to the masses. 
Okay. That's what I can say. And, and how is it going to appeal to the masses? Because there's people that are 20 that are looking for love, and there are people that are 60 that are looking for love. So does this relate to your experience as Mrs. DC America 2020, like the experience you had doing that? Does, does this make you feel like you're doing it again? Well, what I'm doing is that when I won the crown, it truly changed my life. That is why I chose the venue that has the name The Crown in it. And I don't want to cry. This always Aww. happens. Aww. I always get really it's emotional all, no, okay. because it really has changed my life. So, uh, look, oh, thank you for the tissues. I was a stay-at-home mom for 12 years before Whoa. I won The Crown. Wow. And I just, my life experiences set me up to do this show and I knew that I needed to ask Deborah as my co-host because I needed somebody that I could like I didn't cry again that I could really trust Mm. you know because I've had a lot of people that have really hurt me uh that I've not been you I haven't been able to trust and Mm. so I needed somebody that could be one of my closest advisors can we just (laughs) show everybody like what your first song what's love got Got to to do got got to to do do with it? it What's love got but a second-hand emotion? emotion? What's love got to do, got to do with it? Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? Ooh. Oh, my goodness. All right. Whoa. So she's going to be also singing at Singles in the City, D.C. That's so much fun. I'm, I'm very excited. It's going to be like a concert. So, so what? When she told you that she was doing the show, did you say that you wanted to sing for her, or did she find out that you were a singer and at invited you? No, she did. She's like pulled everything out of me that the Lord has wanted to be resurrected, mm. and that's how it's been. That's and awesome. You're gonna cry too now. <laughs> oh. And I'm so happy that Taylor, you yes. are the very. One of, you know, you're on the very first pilot season of Singles in the City, D.C., and we picked you because you have star quality, and mm-hmm. we truly believe that you are going to make it to the top, whatever your dreams are. Heck yeah. Amen. Yes. That's right. Heck yeah, I'll drink to that. Right. All right. Hey. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And with this, I want you guys to go ahead and give me your, your 10-second pitch for those that may be interested in on your personal like if it wasn't your show but you pretend like you've already seen it convince someone to, to see what you've seen so like your elevator your elevator pitch uh for the singles in the city and what what would you do if uh if you wanted someone to go and it wasn't your show pretend like it's not your show okay i would say singles in the city dc was it really when i walked out of there even though I'm still single, it made me believe in love and that I can find true love. Mm. And it gave, me, it gave me hope that no matter how old I am or it doesn't matter what walk of life I am or anything, if I want to find love, I'm going to find it one day. All right. I love that. <laughs> so, Deborah. Yes. What would, what would your <laughs> elevator pitch be, roughly? If you, if you had to give one... Pretend, pretend like you're not involved, but you've just seen this amazing show, and you've someone asked you as you walk out and said, "What just happened?" What would you say to them? I would say, "Oh my gosh, you really needed to be in that show because just the whole atmosphere would just change your life because you sense love in the room, and mm. then and then there was entertainment, mm. and you had a good time. <laughs> so I, you should definitely be there." All oh, right. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I know. And so before you guys go, I would be remiss to ask you some questions about m- being Mrs. DC America 2020 because that's so exciting. I want to hear, I want to hear like your, your quick snippets of like when you found out about it, what convinced you to get into it? The, you know, did you cut sug- sugar, sugar? Did you, did you stop, you know, drinking alcohol? Did you, all these things, you know what I mean? I don't know if you did or not, not, but I know I know a lot of pageants girl that do a lot of crazy things in, in order to win these things, and they're usually most people don't realize how much 
goes into this into like the process of being a pageant winner. Was it is it a pageant? Yes. Okay. Yes, I competed for Mrs. America. So mm-hmm. it's an iconic pageant that's been around for over 70 years. Mm-hmm. And oh my gosh, there's so much to say, but basically <laughs> I It'll be a whole podcast in this time. Yeah, right. <laughs> the person that picked me was the owner of Mrs. DC America, and when she when I walked in, she said, "You are going to be my next Mrs. DC America. She goes, you are exactly what we're looking for. You're a classic beauty. When, when she said that to you, did you feel any type of, um, I don't know if you had anxiety before she said it, but did you did you get any more anxiety from when she said that, feeling like, oh my God, now she's going to expect me to be the winner? No, because I knew I was going to be the winner. If anything comes from this podcast is that God sees your dreams, and even when they're buried for Mine was for 36 years, and I'm going to tell you what, when they asked me why I thought I should be the next Mrs. DC America, I said, I've been waiting for this moment for 36 years. Wow. I've waited in line long enough. Yes. That this is now, it's now this is I'm, my moment. I'm so. next in line. Wow, what a good ending. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me in TCAST. Yay. My first time being back. I know it's a little bit short, but that's what I wanted. A short, sweet, concise, beautiful uh, you know, a heartfelt, heartfelt, even, you know what I mean? Yes. So, Singles in the City, September 17th, 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. 6 to 9? Yes, 6 to 9. 6 to 9. And there is going to be a dating show, there's going to be hip hop singer, there's mm-hmm. going to be all kinds of incredible things going on, lots of queens. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to thank you for inviting oh. us on. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> we have all a right, lot here we to go. Say. One Hello. last little sip. Right? Cheers. We're happy Cheers. to be here and support you. I will say, I'm pretty sure everyone watching this, everyone's going to want to hear these other stories you guys have. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Especially because you guys are obviously good together. You yes, guys are a, a di- <laughs> the di- dynamic duo. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I might even need a co. I might even need a co-host for my podcast. Oh my god! Just so it can be four of us. You know what I mean? That could yes. work. That would be. A However, that's going to be that. this. This is the exciting little like you know stay st- stay tuned to what can come in the future. All right. Yes, All right. absolutely. All right. Yeah. All right. Yay. Thank you for joining me. Peace out. <laughs> How fun! Okay. Wow. So this vlog started in july and it is now mid-september um i'm gonna end it here because i don't don't think it can get any more intricate i've got a lot of things coming up we got singles in the city this weekend and we got dc fashion week next weekend um so i'm gonna end it here Thank you for watching, and I'm excited to show... Damn, that's still loud over there. <sighs> I hope this vlog has convinced you to stay tuned to whatever it is that I'm about to do. I'm going to try to bring the TCAST podcast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to bring TCAST back to the internet. We'll see. We'll see if I'm... We'll see if it works. My next video is going to be a tour of my apartment complex and obviously my apartment. So, until then, see you soon.